you are listening to KSD podcast this is a short crisp concise exam oriented edited editorial for civil services aspirants before we start we request you to please subscribe to our channel now in this podcast we are going to talk about efficient solar storage hybrid solutions source for the content is venkat rajaraman's article for the economic times Storage is playing an important role in the further advancement of solar and clean energy as clean energy capacity increases ramping up energy storage will be critical energy storage system is fast emerging as an essential part of the evolving clean energy systems of the 21st century energy storage represents a huge economic opportunity for india ambitious goals concerted strategies and a collaborative approach could help india meet its emission reduction targets while avoiding import dependency for battery packs and cells this could help establish india as a hub for cutting edge research and innovation boosting its manufacturing capabilities create new jobs and foster economic growth india's strengths in it and manufacturing its entrepreneurial and dynamic private sector and its visionary public and private sector leadership will be key factors in realizing these ambitions creation of a conducive battery manufacturing ecosystem on the fast track could cement india's opportunity for radical economic and industrial transformation in a critical and fast growing global market now let's talk about the need for solar storage the ministry of new and renewable energy has set a target to add 175 gigawatts of renewable power by 2022 and 450 gigawatts by 2030 Solar and wind power accounts for 280 gigawatts and 140 gigawatts respectively. Rooftop solar takes up 100 gigawatts and the grid scale solar target is 100 gigawatts by 2030. With the variable nature of solar and wind power, when these renewable energy sources come online by 2030, flexible resources need to support smooth functioning of the grid. Various applications for solar storage hybrid solutions presently the renewable penetration in uh, installed capacity is about 24% and it is expected to grow to 51% by 2030 with a renewable energy target of 450 gigawatts battery energy storage system due to its fast response time is a suitable technology for providing primary secondary and fast tertiary frequency regulation services to the grids being a proven technology for providing frequency regulation this segment of ancillary services is expected to take off higher penetration of rooftop solar pv integration of ev chargers and rising commercial loads or tariffs create a lot of difficulties for the distribution grid operators in maintaining the stability and reliability of the network ess as witnessed across the world can provide a lot of flexibility at low voltage electricity networks the other applications are peak power management frequency regulation power factor correction and these are several projects underway all across the globe talking about india storage market solar storage hybrid market is expected to take off and on a realistic estimate is expected to touch 80 gigawatt hour by 2030 the demand for lithium storage by financial year 2026 is expected to be 25 gigawatt hour in the optimistic scenario the projected demand could be 150 gigawatt hour by 2030 the breakup across various stationary applications is given below the ev application is the main driver for lithium ion batteries and it is expected to be 65 gigawatt hour by 2030 shifting focus to policy framework now Policies around energy storage have been developing since 2014. This gained traction post 2018 when MNRE set a target to achieve 450 gigawatts by 2030 to support RE integration to the grid. Energy storage is essential. Central level regulations and state renewable energy policies are being developed to support this cause. Various state level storage policies have been rolled out. Gujarat was the first to roll out a storage policy which encourages energy storage technologies, CDM benefit, exemption for captive use or third party sale, etc. Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu were the next to roll out their energy policies followed by Rajasthan, Maharashtra and Telangana. Telangana focuses mainly on encouraging the manufacturing sector and there is no reference to hybrid projects. Lastly we talk about blended cost of renewables. The blended cost of renewables with storage is expected to fall from Four rupees fifty paisa per unit to under three rupees per unit by 2030. This assumes a 50 percent storage penetration on the total installed renewable capacity. This takes into account the fall in battery energy storage system cost 
improvement in technical parameters such as energy density, longer cycle life, higher efficiency, etc. India is committed to reducing emission intensity up to 33 to 35% from the 2005 level by 2030 and set the target of 40% non-fossil fuel-based electricity generation in the energy mix. Integration of such massive amounts of RE, which are intermittent and distributed in the power system, pose serious challenges to grid operations. Energy storage is going to play a critical role in grid integration and management of RE as the share of RE in the grid increases. That's it for this podcast. Thank you so much for listening. To join KSJ India courses and to crack the ICE exam, visit ksjindia.com. You can also get a PDF of this podcast on ksjindia.com. Thanks for listening.